hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how i got these very pretty flowy um jumbo box braids on my short natural hair i did the boho method where the ends are curly so if you are interested in how i got this look and how i got them to be this long on my short hair stay tuned Okay, so you're going to need two packs of braiding hair. I chose the cute pre-stretched braiding hair. And you'll also need one pack of curly hair of your choice. I chose the Brazilian Ocean Wave hair from Bobby Boss. This is how the braiding hair looks out of the pack. It's already pre-stretched, so the ends are frayed. If you don't have that, you can pre-stretch it yourself. And this is how much hair you will need for the braid to make it jumbo size. So about that much for each braid to start off with. And so I did the three-legged method where I put two strands of hair over top of my natural hair and then left one strand of my natural hair out. And that would kind of act as the third leg and I just proceeded to braid it that way to make it knotless. There are probably better tutorials of how to do a knotless braid but this is how I, I did it, the method I used to make it um, flat at the top. So um, you can look at any knotless tutorial to, to master this method but um, just a three-legged method should work well for any knotless style. So the trick to getting this style on short hair is the blending. Blending is very, very important, especially when it comes to adding hair. Um, I did add hair as I was going down the braid just to make sure it stayed the same width all the way down. And you're gonna see me grab a bit of hair right there and I'm gonna place it in the back. Um, it's probably a little hard to see with my fingers, but placing it behind the two strands of hair and then I'm going to, if, when I when I braid it, braid it as tight as I can all the way down and like really grip it so that the ends of my natural hair aren't poking through as much. Um, I got better at this. The the more practice I got, the more braids I did. But the first that was my first um, braid in the front, and it wasn't perfect. But um, the secret I learned was to instead of putting the braiding hair behind those two strands, putting it in front so that it will hide the ends of your hair even better. And I'm showing you again how I add the hair. Once you get down past your natural hair, it doesn't really matter as much. So you can add the hair behind or in front, whatever you need for you. And I proceeded to braid all the way down and you can see if you pull it tight enough, and braid it tight enough, you can't even see where you added it. But that helps to keep the, braid, the braids width thick all the way down until you want it to kind of taper off towards the end. But adding the hair is important so make sure that you're doing that and especially important at the top where your hair is natural so once you get about to here where you have a little bit more than half of the hair left you're going to want to start adding the curly hair in and you're going to add it in the same way we added the straight braiding hair so either again behind or in front of the hair on the two strands and you're just going to braid it down all the way and make it tight so that it blends well and you'll see you can, can't really see where you added it in um, It'll just blend seamlessly all the way down and once we get there, we're going to cut it and burn it so that it'll stay and that'll be our first braid. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys one more time how I did the braid at the top. So obviously my hair appears longer. Um, I'm growing my hair out of like a short tapered cut. So what I didn't mention is that you actually need to blow dry and straighten your hair. I forgot to mention at the beginning, but that is the major, major key to this style is getting your hair as 
stretched as possible so I actually blow dried and ran a flat iron through my hair one time not to get it bone straight but just to stretch it out enough to mimic the texture of the braiding hair and also just to get as much length out of my hair as possible so again I'm doing a three-legged method and placing the two strands of my hair or of the braiding hair onto my hair and using one strand of my hair as the third leg and then I'm taking hair from the um, other legs of hair and adding it to the other strand so giving myself three strands it's kind of, kind of hard to explain but um, just look up three strand of method it'll be easier than me trying to explain it <laughs> but that is what I did and we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did on the other side so on this side I'm gonna do what I told you is the better way to do it so placing it the ad additional hair on the top of our natural hair instead of on the bottom so you can see that I put on top and you can't even see where my hair pokes out so if you put the additional braiding hair that you're adding on top of your hair instead of behind it it makes it blend even more seamlessly and I did that with the rest of the braids that I did um, but that's what I was trying to mention in the beginning is to add the hair on top of your natural hair until you pass it and then you can do whatever you want on the way down. Okay, so here's a close-up look of how we add the hair. So taking one strand of the hair, this is the curly hair I'm adding, and you're going to place it behind the two strands, and you're going to tighten it really tight when you braid it down so that it blends in seamlessly. And hopefully that all makes sense when it comes to braiding and adding the hair so that you can do this without as many errors as I had in the beginning, but um, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so in the back is where my hair is the shortest. It's about maybe an inch, if I'm being generous. So if you have shorter hair all the way around, that's even shorter than mine, this method will work for you. And this is the thing with the band method. So I took a rubber band around the back of my head um, where my hair is the shortest, and I pulled the hair through using a crochet hook and make sure that my um, hair was tight in the rubber band. Then I just started braiding it all the way down and this actually was a lot easier just because you don't have to worry about really blending as much just because your hair is shorter and it's gonna stay in that rubber band a lot easier than trying to you know make sure it stays at the top so um, this is actually a very beginner friendly method if you're trying to do rubber band methods so um, again once your hair is in there you just spray like we normally did again adding the hair once you get to a certain point um, I was braiding it behind uh, that was my mistake because I was braiding it um, in the back I wasn't sure if it mattered or not and it definitely did so do as I say now as I do when it comes to this and 
put the hair in the front just like we did with the other um, braid that I just showed you. So you can see there's a little bit of hair poking out because I didn't add the hair in the front. So what I'm gonna do to kind of hide it is take some gel, um, whatever you're using to gel down your edges and just smush it on there and push that um, poking, the hair that's poking out into the braid and it should be seamless. Okay, so when you're done, you should have something like this. Hair long, braids snatched, and natural hair protected. <laughs> so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys like this look. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!